2024, Parliament reallocated 750 billion shillings after revisiting the Appropriation Bill 2024, which President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni objected to assent to. Pursuant to Article 143.1 of the Rules of Procedure, I will read the President's letter, which is returning the, letter, the, the bill, and I will read it verbatim. In the last four financial years, the members of parliament have been reallocated to have reallocated a total of Uganda shillings 3.7 trillion. This is a real sabotage. When we reconstructed Kampala Massacre Road, we used Uganda shillings. 440 billion. Therefore, diverting the 3.1 trillion in four years is equivalent to aborting nine big roads of the Kampala massacre type or a much larger number of smaller roads. There are three mistakes involved here. These are in discipline in budgeting, sabotaging the national priorities, and now the, suspicious, the suspicion of massive corruption. I am therefore writing to request that this practice stops accordingly. As per Article 913, C of the Constitution of 1995, I decline to assent to Appropriation Bill 2024 and return it to Parliament and request that no reshuffling of the budget should ever happen again without an input of the executive. Chairman Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Semu Junganda, did not take lightly the President's accusations. The Minister has presented a list that was affected with the reallocation. Debating this with the letter of the President, and you need to go back to that letter. The letter is that you are tampering with the priorities as Parliament. And he listed, giving examples of roads, many of my colleagues may not have picked. We have 300 billion that they are instating to Rocco, which is a private company. <laughs> private company. <laughs> Remember, this parliament gave Rocco 270 billion. This, this is a, a private company. But the president is moving money from ambulances, Information. money from regional far hospital to create 300 billion yeah. shilling for Rocco, a private company. In the sitting, the speaker, Anita Mong, ruled that the House constitutes itself into a committee of the whole House since the budget committee had not yet been fully constituted. The budget committee is not yet fully constituted because not all sectoral committees have their leadership in place. As you may recall, the sectoral committee chairpersons are ex-officials of members of budget committee as provided for under Rule 173, two of the rules of procedure. Yes, procedure? you may be under obligation to refer it to the Parliamentary Committee on Budget. And yet, under Rule 2, the scope in terms of definition of a committee is wider, indicating means a committee of the whole House, a standing committee, a sectoral committee, a select committee. Right Honorable Speaker, would it be procedurally right for you to invoke your powers 
and this house constitutes itself into a committee of the whole house under rule two of the rules of procedure of this parliament. The strongest justification for not sending this bill to the budget committee is that there is a very serious allegation of grave corruption against the budget committee. And the, 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 the wording of that letter by the president that specifically mentions allegations of corruption and he's not doing it for the first time. When he came to pay tribute to the late Sicilia, he accused parliament in your presence that the parliament is corrupt. When we went for state of nation, he said that. On budget day, he said that. And in the letter, the accusation is against all members of the budget committee. I would feel extremely uncomfortable that, that this, this reference is made to the budget committee. I support that the committee of the whole house, and we are here seated, can actually process the matter. Thank you, thank you. Is that seconded? Seconded by Okwalinga, by Aroboy, uh, by, uh, by uh, Alion, uh, by the Vice President of Uganda, Prime Minister, Deputy Security, by the whole front desk. Thank you. The reconsidered appropriation bill approved an expenditure of over 72.136 trillion shillings, reflecting a 14 trillion shillings increase from the initial estimates of 58.34 trillion shillings. Now, therefore, be it resolved by this August House that the House resolves itself into the Committee of Supply to reconsider the schedule of the annual estimates for the financial year 2024-25 as attached to this, motion, to this motion in order to address the concerns raised by His Excellency the President. Madam Speaker and colleagues, I beg you to move. I put a question that the sum of Uganda shillings, 13,590,200,000,000, Eight hundred fifty-one thousand be provided for as a total recurrent expenditure for the central government vote zero zero one to four zero two for the financial year twenty twenty-four twenty twenty-five. Those in favor say on the control and nay. <laughs> Guys have it. I put a question that to, uh, a total sum of Uganda shillings two hundred and ninety billion. Seven hundred eighty-nine million four hundred twenty-three thousand be provided for as a total recurrent expenditure for referral hospitals vote four zero three to four twenty-two for the financial year twenty twenty-four twenty twenty-five. Those in favor say I to the control and nay. Guys have it. Missions abroad votes five zero one to five three eight. I put a question that a total sum of Uganda shillings, 263,336,144,000 be provided for as a total sum of a total recurrent expenditure for Uganda missions abroad, vote 501 to vote 538 for financial year 2024-2025. Those in favor sign the control and nay. Guys have it. Local governments vote 601 to vote 935. I put a question that a total sum of Uganda shillings 4 trillion 678 billion 357 million 676 thousand be provided for as a total recurrent expenditure for a local government Vote zero six zero one to nine thirty five for financial year twenty twenty four twenty twenty five. Those in favor say the control and nay. The eyes have it. I put a question that a total sum of Uganda shillings eighteen trillion seven hundred forty one billion seven hundred fifteen million nine ninety four thousand be provided for as a total recurrent expenditure for the financial year 2024-2025.
Those in favor say and the control and nay. Nice have it. Madam Speaker, I beg to move that the appropriations bill 2024 as returned by His Excellency the President be read for the third time and do pass. I put a question that the appropriation bill 2024 as returned by His Excellency the President be read and the third time and do pass. Those in favor said and the control and nay. The eyes have it. A bill for an act titled the Appropriation Act 2024. The title is settled and the bill has been passed. Congratulations. When we work together, when we work closely, when we speak in one language, we can do many things together. I want to pray, Madam Speaker, that as Parliament, we continue moving in this direction. Because we are here to cure the challenges faced by all our people in villages. The House is still adjourned to 23rd of July, 2024. House adjourned at 2 p.m.